Hello, this is a quick tutorial of the Sections tab in the admin area. This tab could also be called Pages since you are primarily creating, editing, and managing the pages for your site. We call them Sections because there isn't only pages involved here. There are pre-built sections of content as well as links to external sites and external content, embeddable content. There's a lot of functionality here and sections best describes it for future use. There are three options available here. There is editing of your navigation sections, the ability to create a page, and the ability to list pages. On the navigation sections page is listed your primary site navigation. This is either the top navigation across horizontally or the very top navigation on the left. The first option is the positioning whether you want it horizontal or vertical. The second option is adding a default section link. These are links to all of the pre-built content like calendar, forums, gallery, game tools, polls, and rapid raid, and wiki, and pvp section. This allows you to quickly add a link to an existing piece of content with our default name. It can always be edited later. You also have the ability to add your own link. Here you just provide a link title, a URL, an image, and you can go directly to picking whether it's an iframe embed, a new window, or the same window kind of link. The bottom option is the ability to create a custom page. You provide the title, an image URL again, how you want it linked, and the most important option is whether you want to use an existing or create a new page. If you create a new page, a page will be created using the link title, or you can use an existing page, which is any custom page you've created up to this point. Custom pages are a powerful feature. They let you create a block of content that is all your own, but you create a section of the site that is all your own. You can interlink multiple custom pages in order to create a section of content. So, good things for this are guild rules, loot rules, uh, rating rules, or maybe just a history of your guild, what games you were founded in. You could also use it to build tutorial sections and things of like that. So the next option is creating a page. When you click create page, you are already on the site, ready to edit a page and create it. Once you've created it, it would be available to be linked in the primary navigation, either by copying the URL or choosing that page from the drop down on at the bottom. You can also list all your existing pages once you list the pages, you can right click one of them and you can choose copy link location or the equivalent in your browser. You could then use that to interlink pages or to add that to other navigation, add it to a forum post, post it on Twitter. That is the permanent URL of that piece of content. So there's three options here, but there is a lot of power in those, in those three different sections. This is where you create the superstructure of your site, how it's organized, and how it's laid out. When your site's first created, there's a layout that we have already built. You can use this functionality to tweak that, make it your own, and highly customize your site. Enjoy.